Pogledajte vi ovo kako ova propaganda radi protiv režima Asada i kako oni promovišu da se opet bombarduje Sirija. Evo pogledajte vi samo ova izvještaj. Specifically against the use of chemical weapons. However, it appears the Assad regime is just not listening. As the offensive starts to gear up, U.S. envoy to Syria Jim Jeffrey and other U.S. sources say there is now mounting evidence Bashar al-Assad has given the green light for his military to use chlorine gas. Twice in the last couple of years, the Syrian government has used sarin against its civilians, despite President Trump promising he would act. And twice. The U.S. has responded, launching tomahawk strikes, taking out Syrian airfields and other military facilities. But some have argued that past U.S. strikes have not really altered the direction of the Syrian war, and that Assad is no longer afraid of the U.S. response. And it's also worth saying that Russia claims it has evidence that it's the rebels, not Assad, who are the ones planning to use the chlorine. Meanwhile, the bombardment with conventional weapons is now very much underway, with support from Russian warplanes. Over the weekend, nearly two dozen civilians were killed, among them children and a baby girl, while a hospital was also bombed and dozens of indiscriminate barrel bombs were dropped. And the feared exodus has also started, as more than 400 families were displaced from southern Italy, fleeing towards the Turkish border, where 800,000 refugees are already living in camps. And there are three and a half million refugees in Turkey, three million civilians, in Idlib, and the Turkish government saying it simply can't handle anymore, and as a result, they have sent their troops to the Turkish-Syrian border, meaning this offensive is escalating in so many different ways, in so many different places. Thank you, good night. Look at how this propaganda is, how they stuck this child that died. Look at that. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Nothing from this. Nothing was true that you said. President, President Bashar al-Assad has approved a gas attack in, in the Idli province, which is the country at least rebel uh, stronghold, a, a report on Sunday said. Znači oni kažu da je president Bashar al-Assad uh, dozvolio gas na, napad, ali oni to kažu, znači oni govore to samo da bi ovaj, uh, se znači, do, dovelo do toga da, da opet se bombarduje Sirija. E, pogledajte što rade ovi iz Foxa i CNN-a i koja propaganda. Pogledajte, pa je to stvarno sramota, katastrofa znači. 